Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you're here. If this is your first time here, welcome. And please be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you will not miss any new videos that I will be posting. And Saturday is a special day because that is my sleigh session. And on Saturdays during sleigh session, we could be talking about hair, we could be talking about something in makeup. You'll just have to come back and see. Okay, I'm priming my lids with um, MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And be sure to get it all over your entire lid so that um, when you put the product on it, the eyeshadow, it will blend better. You don't want it to blend in one spot and not in the other. So just make sure you cover the entire lid. Because I'm hooded, I like to make sure I get into that crease area. And I bring it on out to the edges because I usually extend my shadow that far anyway. I wanna have like a shadow wing liner. Okay, now I'm gonna go into Peach Smoothie, which is my favorite Makeup Geek shadow, which is the one that is the least amount right there. I'm gonna go into that, and I'm gonna use that as my transition shade. And I just use a fluffy brush because it really does not matter. Um, there's no perfect placement. Just get it all over your lid. This helps to set your shadow better. It helps to set the painterly pot, your primer, whatever primer you use. You want to use a powder or you want to use a flesh colored shadow to go in on top of that. Now that I have a good dusting on my lid, I'm going to stay with this same palette and I am going to go into um, this one right here which is called Chickadee. It's called Chickadee. And I'm gonna switch brushes with you all a little thing that I use. This is um, Vera Mona's palette. But inside of the palette, she has this right here. And I think this is sold on Sephora um, as a quick change, but I use this to like clean my brushes when I am doing clients or um, tutorials and I don't have time to like wipe off the brushes and maybe I want to use the same brush. So I just use this and it just gets it right off. And this is a Morphe 433. I like to use this brush when I'm just doing like my transition because it's nice and fluffy. So you will see me use this to wipe off my brushes. And I'm gonna stay nice and high Don't worry about the fallout. And just do circular motions. And I fan it out when I get to the edges. I think it's important to blend your transition pretty good because that is what is going to lay your foundation for everything else. So you have to spend quite a bit of time blending. A lot of times I will pause the camera and I will do some of the blending off camera just so that you're not sitting there bored with me blending, but that's how much you need to blend. You need to blend until you get tired of blending, basically. Going in with a little fluffier brush, this came out of the Vera Moda palette that I was showing you earlier. I am just going to use this brush to kind of diffuse the transition color and blend it a little bit better because that 433 is kind of stiff. This one is a lot softer and you can blend better. So basically what I'm saying is I like to use one to lay the product and the other one to smooth the product out. Now I'm gonna go into this color right here, Morocco still with Makeup Geek, and I am going to use a Morphe brush. It does not have a number on it, but the tip of it is very pointy, and I am going to go into my crease with this Morocco.
very lightly. Being sure to fan this out. And it helps when you look down because then your eye, you have a better judgment of your eye and you can see your lid space a lot better. And I wanna keep this pretty high because when I do the lid color, since it is gonna be a smoky look, I'm gonna go all the way up to about right here with my lid color. So I wanna keep everything else kinda of high. Picking up that same fluffy brush that I used before, I'm just going to blend that Morocco into the chickadee. Okay, before I go on to the lid, I am going to use um, this white color here to just put on my lid. And this helps for your lid color to kind of pop more. You can use white, you can use black. It just depends on the tone that you're gonna be using for your lid color. And since I am going to be using um, a greenish color and it's like a limish green, then I'm gonna use the white. Now you could use cream liner as well. I can't show this to you open because it came to me kind of crumpled up. It's supposed to be a pressed pigment and I'm not sure, this is by Sugar, Sugar Pill. And I'm not sure if it was supposed to be broken up like this, but I was kind of disappointed because, I mean, it was literally crumbled in pieces. Going to use this flat brush right here, and it is um, a Morphe 167, M14, sorry, M167. I'm gonna use that, I'm gonna be very careful with this and just press. Ooh. This is not a real vibrant color. This is my first time using it. And it has, um, not a lot of pigment going on right now. It's trying to come on top of that white not as vibrant as I was hoping it would be. It's pretty, but if you see, it's just not picking up like I anticipated. Okay, I'm gonna have to mix this with some ColourPop color. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna look and see what I have that can go with this. Okay, I picked up uh, two more ColourPop shadows that we're gonna try to use to kind of make this eye uh, pop a little bit more. Round brush. Eyes raised a little bit. And I'm just going around that line I just created just to blend a little bit more. For brow bone highlight, I am going to go into my Tartlet and Bloom and I am going to use that Flower Child. That's like one of my favorite brow bone highlights. And I kind of mix it with Funny Girl, which is right below it. Funny Girl has a little bit of a shimmer in it, but I don't really like a shimmery brow bone. Now for concealer, I am going to be using this Too Faced New Concealer in Deep Tan, and I'm going to mix it with the LA Girls Almond because the Deep Tan is a little bit lighter than I want it to be. So I just mix the two. Don't have my Beauty Blender. I always forget something. I just kind of go right on top of that. Now for highlighter, I'm gonna be using this Age Rewind. I don't go too far up with my forehead because I have a big forehead, so I don't need to highlight and bring more attention. Now I cleaned up the eye, so I'm gonna go back into that Americana again, and I am going to put that back. <laughs>
I'm gonna work on that eye area some more, but let me go ahead and set my concealer. I'm gonna set my concealer before I start to crease. and I'm using Laura Mercier. Now for my contour, I normally use the Tarte um, Contour Sculpting Stick, but I recently got this ColourPop, um, and it's in the color Typo, and I am going to use that today. I've used it once or twice before, and it's comparable to this Tarte. And I'm gonna go in with my NYX bronzer, it's a matte bronzer, and I'm just gonna try to warm that lightness up a little bit. You always wanna get under here so that you don't have a two-tone effect. Now we're going to finish working on this under eye area. Now I have this green color by um, ColourPop and it is Fast Lane. <clears throat> I'm going to use this for my waterline. And I'm going to tight line with this same green. Lately, because I have allergies to makeup or eyeshadow or something where it causes my um, corners to start watering, I have not been able to do like a wing liner because when my eyes start watering, it just comes right off. So I've been kind of just kind of wearing the smoky eye and the wing look with shadows instead. And I'm just dragging that shadow across to kind of give me another wing. If you want to be real precise and make that wing nice and sharp, then you can take a little bit of concealer and some angle brush. This is something I picked up at the paint store, but it's perfect for cleaning up my edges. Tap it 
and it's good for cleaning up anything. I mean, if you went too far down in the edges and in the inner corner, you can use it. It just cleans up everything. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna put on my lashes off camera, and when I come back, we will do um, lipstick. Okay, guys, I am ready for the lips now. I'm going for the vampy look. So I'm going with this Lorac 20th Anniversary Lipstick in the color MUA. It is going to be a rich, I've never worn it before. If you can see, it's never been worn. And it has a matching lip gloss to it. But I just thought, I'm ready for fall. So for me, I want to go to the dark colors. I keep migrating to the dark colors, which is why I tried to do a light lid. But um, I love fall and I love fall colors, so I'm looking forward to fall makeup. So here we go. Ooh, that is dark. It's very creamy too, very creamy. I'm gonna put the lip gloss on to see how that does. Alright guys, so here is the finished look. I like this fall look. Um, so, if you are liking this too, then be sure to give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and comment and let me know what you'd like to see. And please come back and see me again and I will be here until the next video. Love you guys.